Hello, this is Rebecca again. This is video two in my two video series on how to prepare illustrator vector artwork so that it prints out correctly on transparent material such as window vinyls or food packaging where white needs to print as a colour and any colours that print on top of the white need to not knock out, they need to overprint and we need to set a cutter guide up for our print service provider as well. So we've got our artwork right, we've got it all nicely layered up into spots white artwork and cutter guide. Now we need to make sure that it all outputs correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the artwork on my cutter guide layer, I'll just lock those other layers down, I could even make them invisible to help me along a bit. I'm going to select that path, just make sure it's the path I'm working with. And I'm going to make sure that that magenta stroke is suitable for a cutter guide. It's one point at the moment, it might be worth changing it to a very small amount like 0.25. Depends on your print service provider as to what attributes they want you to set your cutter guide to have. And I'm also going to go into my um, layer layers panel and make the cutter guide non-printing by double clicking on that layer, not on the layer name, but on the layer itself to bring up the layer options. And I'm just going to untick print and OK that. Even though that's non-printing and you can see that by the italic name of that layer, I'm still going to set that magenta stroke to overprint. So when it's on top of the white colour, it's going to overprint and not knock out. And to do that, we need to access from the window panel, the attributes panel. It's a bit obscure this. And you can see because I've got an object selected that's just got a stroke to it, I've got the option to turn on that stroke so it overprints anything that sits underneath it. So that's now going to overprint that white that's sitting beneath it. So that's one step sorted. The next step is to ensure that all the artwork that's coloured is going to overprint and not knock out the white. So I'm just going to select stuff on the artwork layer. I'm going to try my target button. Um, it's a bit tricky to sort of check that all of that artwork is, is what I want selected, but I think I should be alright in just using the attributes panel to check over print fill on that. Another way to select a bunch of objects that are all the same colour is to select one of them and use the select menu same and choose in my case fill colour so it's picked up all the blacks and you can see better um, representation of that black fill colour being set to overprint. You could do the same with the purple but I'm quite sure that all those purples are set to overprint. I'll just use that select command, select same fill colour just to check all that purple has been set to overprint. And that's as much as we need to do really um, if we've already set our white to be a spot colour. So if you're just jumping straight to the second video and you haven't seen the first video, you're just interested in setting white to overprint, you can use your layers panel if you've organised your artwork to just select all that white artwork. I'll just switch the visibility on and just select all that. I'm going to click off and click back on it just so that I'm sure. Ooh, I've got my, let's just zoom in a bit, got my white layer selected. There we go. So this white object has to be a spot colour white. So just to check we've used a spot colour white, I'm going to go to my swatches panel. I have got a spot colour white, but just to show you in case your white isn't set to a spot white, I'll just recap. To make a, any swatch a spot colour, just double click on the swatch chip in your swatches panel to bring up the swatch options panel and make sure the colour type is spot colour. It may say process colour but we need to make that a spot colour and then click OK. So that's your artwork prepared. 
we've got a spot color white we've got an over printing magenta cutter guide on a non printing layer and we've got our artwork elements where all the colors have been set to overprint or all the fills I should say have been set to overprint and that's all good that's all good to go but just so that you can really be sure that that's going to output correctly what I recommend you do is once you've saved that file is to go into your file menu and do a save as and choose Adobe Illustrator well actually it's just Adobe PDF from the format drop down so I'll just call this test for white color I'm English so I'm spelling color the English way and then when I click the save button in my save Adobe PDF dialog box I'm just going to preserve the illustrator editing capabilities I'm going to view the PDF after saving I'm going to create acrobat layers from top level layers don't need to put printer marks or anything on there because I've got my cutter guides and the output, I'm not going to do any colour conversions because I've been working in CMYK on this particular file anyway. But you need to speak to your print service provider as to whether or not they'd rather you send them CMYK artwork or if they're digitally printing it, they might be perfectly happy with you sending them RGB artwork and that their rips do the colour conversions. So that's a conversation you, you need to have with your print service provider. Do I convert the colours or don't I? But I'm just going to click Save PDF and that should open Acrobat Pro. And in Acrobat Pro, what I recommend you do is go to the Tools panel and make sure that you can see the print production tools. I've actually put mine over in the right hand panel set by clicking Add. Um, but this I could just click open and that opens my print production tools and really all I need to to do in here to check that that's separating properly is click the output preview function and I'll be able to see all those layers in the artwork so I'm just going to start by switching off my process plates and you'll see the spot white and we can switch individual colors on one at a time so Let's turn my spot my process sign on and off. When you've got two or more separations visible, then the white will disappear. Um, it's just showing you what will be printed white and black here because that's the only plate that's visible. But when I add another colour in, that white becomes white. So you will need to switch off all your process plates to see the spot plate white as a solid and it's definitely worth zooming in just to check that that cutter guide has been set to overprint otherwise you'll see little white lines where that is yeah and you can really just delve into the artwork a bit and see what colors of ink are used on each layer and if there's any spot colors in there so it's a really useful tool for checking your artwork. I'm happy that that's all good and correct and I can even leave the magenta plate on. And you can see at the moment that cutter guide's not visible. Looking over at the left hand side, you may see a layers button. If it's not there, you can right click on this area and actually um, make it visible. I'll just put that to the de default. Looks like it's visible by default. Anyway, it usually shows up if you've created a PDF that has used layer visibility in Illustrator. So by clicking that button, you can see that my cutter guide is in the artwork. It's just not set to be visible. We can check it's there by looking at the visibility of that layer. So there's my cutter guide on my magenta plate, but it's not affecting my spot color white. at all 
So use Acrobat Pro to check your artwork. Accessing those print production tools. I'll just close those down. So it's a little pink icon. Or you can access it from the tools panel. I hope that's been helpful and good luck creating artwork that needs a white print and a cutter guide. Thanks for watching.